Hi guys, it's Jessie from the Web Round, and today I'm going to teach you how to use OBS or open broadcasting software to crop your image with your Web Round. If you are using an integrated camera on a laptop and you have that laptop on a table in front of you. Now, this is something that I personally do not recommend. I always tell people that if you are going to use your webcam, whether it's integrated in your laptop or if it's external, that you want to have it at eye level. But if that's impossible, and I understand sometimes it is, I'm going to teach you today how to crop it so that you have a really great looking background with your web around. So the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to OBS and then download whatever version you need. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. When it's downloaded, go ahead and click on it. Do I want to allow this app to make changes to my device? I sure do. Now we're going to complete the setup and then click install. Once OBS is installed, go ahead and launch it. It's going to ask you how you want to configure your OBS. Because we are just using it for the virtual camera today, this is OBS 101 with the web round. We're going to click on, I will only be using the virtual camera. You can always change this later though. So now we're gonna say next. And this is just telling us it's going to apply the settings of the canvas resolutions and our FPS or our frames per second. We'll apply settings, but we'll actually change these in a moment. So the very first thing we are going to do is add our integrated laptop camera as a video capture device. So let's call it integrated laptop camera. Okay. So we're not going to change any of these settings here. We'll just say, okay, good to go. Now you'll notice that my camera does not fill in the 19 by the 1920 uh, resolution that was just automatically put on by OBS. We just showed you that. So now we're going to go to settings, then video, then change our base canvas resolution. So we'll pick the 1280 by 720. That's the other option and that's what my laptop camera is automatically set to. If your laptop camera is 1920 by 1080, you won't need to do this. Then if we make this window a little bit smaller, we can say apply and then okay. And now I'm filling up the screen. Awesome. Now we're gonna do the fun part. We're gonna crop ourselves. So click on your source, which is that integrated laptop camera, right click, press filters. We're going to add an effect filter because we don't want to see my ceiling fan or the top curve of the web round either. We're going to add a crop pad. We're going to call it laptop on the desk. Even though I suggest you don't do this, you always want to have your laptop at eye level. But if you can't, this is how you fix it. So we are going to need to crop our left, our right, and our top. I like to always start with 100 pixels because it's a good place to start. You can start wherever you want. And then top, let's say 150. Ooh, I'm still catching a couple of corners up there. So let's do the top a little bit more. Maybe we do 200, okay? You can also physically move your web around up and down on your chair to catch the ceiling if you need to. But right now we've got a really great look. So we're gonna press close. We've got this issue again, not filling our screen. So we're gonna to have to do one more thing. Right click on your image and then transform and then fit to screen. Okay, great. Now the last thing we have to do is start our virtual camera. And now when we go into video conferencing software, such as Zoom or Microsoft Teams or any other video conferencing software, you're going to see a new video source and that's gonna be OBS Virtual Cam. We'll talk about that in the videos following this one. Take care.